people talk about you know, teaching programming in you know Davin grade schools, <coughs> and you know I think that's a you know that's a great idea. The problem is, as near as I can tell, they're not teaching programming; they're teaching coding, and hardly anybody in the outside world understands the difference between uh, programming and coding. Um, coding is the easy part of programming, it should be. Programming, there are, roughly speaking, you can divide the, a programming task into three subtasks. The first thing is deciding what the program should do. Um, and if you uh, don't think carefully about that, uh, it's going to wind up not doing something that you know you wanted that it probably should do, or um, you're going to wind up with something that, as in many programs, you know they have no bugs, absolutely bug-free programs, because to have a bug, you have to have some notion of what it means for the program to be operating correctly. And there's no precise definition of what it means for a program to be correct, operating correctly, so voila, no bugs. Uh, not a very good uh, uh, situation. Um, the second part is deciding how the program, you know, how it should do that. And that's what I would call the algorithm level rather than the, the code level. Um, if you take something, uh, there's an illustration I use is Euclid's algorithm. You know, you can write Euclid's algorithm in English, you write it down, and there's no programming language involved. Mm -hmm. And you write that, and it's, uh, it's an algorithm. It's not a piece of code. And, you know, it's the easy part is you know, taking that algorithm and coding it in some particular programming language. But imagine trying to invent Euclid's algorithm. Um, if you were thinking about it in terms of code, you know, gee, should I have a, a, a procedure here? Should this be an assignment statement? You'd never discover Euclid's algorithm. Well, the thing, algorithms, and the algorithms that are taught in uh, algorithms classes in, in universities, um, they're algorithms that uh, are generally useful, that they, you know, you can use this algorithm in solving lots of different tasks, uh, but many programs you know, have an algorithm, but you know, just as much an algorithm as Euclid's algorithm is and that can be expressed above the code level and, and should be expressed above the code level, but it's not useful for anything except what this program is doing, so you're not going to learn about it in, a, uh, in an algorithms course. So you should be thinking about the algorithm, the basic how it's done, uh, before you start writing code. And at each of these steps, uh, you know, what so a cartoonist uh, uh, said or wrote in a cartoon, uh, uh, writing is nature's way of showing you how fuzzy your thinking is. And that, you know, you don't understand something uh, until you've written it down carefully, uh, carefully enough to explain it to somebody else. And if you don't, haven't done that, you just, you know, you just think you're understanding it. And so the, the what a program should do um, should be at a level of detail so that uh, somebody could use the program just based on that uh, description. They shouldn't have to look at the code to see what, programming, what the program does. And it's absolutely disgraceful that it has become common practice. You know, that if you know, somebody writes a program and somebody else wants to use it, well, he has to read the code 
to find out what the algorithm does. Um, I mean, I just experienced this uh, a few years ago when I was uh, implementing something which involved uh, making a, a, taking some code that was written by somebody else, part of a, of a standard code package, uh, to just modify it to do something slightly different. And if that had been you know, documented, uh, it would, have taken, well, it would have taken me five minutes to make the change. But I'd had to spend two hours, I'm sorry, two days, with the debugger trying to figure out what this code was doing before I could understand it well enough that I could safely make that change. And so, well, anyway, the, there's the, the what the, the, the code does, and then there's also the how it does it. And that, you know, basically, uh, those two specifications, the things of, of descriptions of what they do, um, they, I mean, you could write in the TLA plus. <laughs> uh, most of the time, it's not necessary to do that, um, either because it's not worth the effort to make them completely formal, uh, and also, uh, it's likely to be the case that the tools that we've developed um, aren't going to help, aren't going to be useful for that particular application. But still, you know, something should be written, and that should be with the code. You know, whatever you're writing the program, it's, you know, the beginning, there should be comments that say, you know, this is what exactly what the program is doing, and any piece of code, you know, and it should say, well, here's the basic idea of, of, of how it's working, and if, and if there's anything, you know, some particular piece, some particular subtask that's being done that is tricky, you know, not you know, obvious how it should be done, the same thing. You know, what this little piece of code does should be explained in comments and how it does it you know, should be explained so that it's easy for somebody to read the code. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.